Hi, you guys. <laughs> you know, uh, a few months ago, um, Jennifer from our warehouse, who was in this, she knew I was in the same time zone as her, and she called me up on the phone and said, drop everything, turn on Dr. Oz. <laughs> and, and I turned on Dr. Oz, and there was a doctor doing chakras, a doctor doing chakras, a neurologist, uh, you know, bringing another spin on chakras that, not spin, that's, that sounds like <laughs> another aspect. Uh, yeah, that's right, they spin, chakras spin. <laughs> and I was so excited and, uh, and David and I thought, oh, we're gonna get her for iGeme. And then we found out she was just up the street here. Kulreet Chaudhary is, uh, after meeting her, talking to her on the phone first and giggling a lot with her and laughing, you think, this really isn't like your normal doctor. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then getting to know her a little bit, she's quite, quite amazing and I think so important in this world of crossover I mean, she crosses over between the worlds and has an impact on Western medicine, that uh, telling them about, you know, uh, alternative healing and energy medicine, and she's just really important, and I feel so happy that she's here and she's come to speak, and she has the cutest little husband you ever saw. So I know we have some doctors here. Can I have a show of hands? How many of you are doctors? We love you, we love you, we love you, we love our doctors. And now I'm going to tell my story and I'm not doctor bashing. I'm not, it's just my story. My whole life I've stayed away from doctors. I've stayed away from hospitals, I've stayed away from doctor's offices. When I was probably 15, before I could even drive, I started being asked by friends and family to be their advocate when they went to doctors and when they went to hospitals. And I did that, and I'm good at that. But along the way, and I've done that my whole life for people, I heard doctors say things that I didn't like. I saw doctors do things that I didn't like. And in mine and Tanya's, um, well, in our father's last decade of his life, I took care of him and often took him to the hospital and the emergency room and the doctors. And I heard things I didn't like. They were unacceptable to me and I saw things I didn't like. And I always felt he would have had a longer life if he would have come over to alternative medicine. So I had a really hard time with doctors and I kept myself really strong and really healthy, so I would never have to go to one. <laughs> but this last spring, I started having some health challenges. And they got severe enough where I called my mom. I didn't want to, but I did. And I said, Mom, I think I need to see a doctor. <sighs> <sighs> that was a very difficult phone call for me. And she said, okay, okay. And I think she was processing that because I don't think she had ever heard that before. And she said, you know what? Dr. Cole Reed is speaking for us at iGeme. She's just in La Jolla. I'll go with you. And I said, yes, you will, because I need an advocate now. <laughs> and so she went with me and I girded myself. I was ready. <laughs> I was so ready to say no to everything that the doctor suggested. I was only going to listen and say no. That was going to be my one word. So we went in to the office and I was probably like this. And Dr. Colreet came in and she hugged us and not just like an air hug, but like a real bear hug. And she looked in our eyes and she smiled at us and we kind of took some breaths together. <laughs> and then she sat down and we sat down and to my surprise, she listened to us for an hour. And she asked me how I felt 
and what my symptoms were and what they meant to me and where I came from and my history, not my history of blood tests, my history of who I am as a woman. And I was stunned in amazing and beautiful ways. I mean, I have stayed away from doctors. I even did a home birth so I could stay out of the hospital. I didn't have a doctor, I had midwives. At some point, Dr. Colreet said, so I'd love to do some blood tests. And I said, oh no. I said my word, no, 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 no. I would not do any tests. I would not do any invasive. <laughs> I don't need a no button, I need a yes button. <laughs> I'm working on that. I'm very good at no. <laughs> I need, can you find me a yes button? Okay. So I said no and she said okay. And I, I was like, what? What? And she said okay. And I said, but doesn't that make your job really difficult? And she said, well, really, it will just force me to use my intuition more. <laughs> when have you ever sat across from an MD who said she would be happy to use her intuition because the patient refused blood tests? I haven't, I've never witnessed that. And at that point, I loved her for the rest of my life and all my lives to come. <laughs> I fell in love in an instant. So. I'm going to read to you just some of her credentials. This is a very, very small part of who she is and what her roles are, but just to give you an idea, she is the Director of Neurology at Wellspring Health in Scripps Memorial Hospital. She serves as a consultant to large medical corporations to integrate complementary and alternative therapies with existing allopathic programs. She is a pioneer in the field of integrative neurology. She is the president of Habit Change, where she founded the division to change existing allopathic medical practices into integrative medicine centers using compassion-based coaching, meditation, and Ayurvedic knowledge. Dr. Chaudhry is a neuroscientist for coordinated clinical research where she, was, where she has participated in over 20 clinical research studies in the areas of multiple sclerosis, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, ALS, and diabetic peripheral neuropathy. These are big words. She has her own blog on DrOz.com. She is on his expert panel. She is a guest on the Dr. Oz show several times a year. Oh, she learned transcendental meditation when she was nine years old. <laughs> she is all about patient empowerment. Don't you love her? And she's not even up here yet. Dr. Colreet Chaudhry. <laughs> and she's gorgeous. <laughs>